Hi, my name is Mandy Cameron and I'm here today to show you how to create this lovely crocheted flower which is done in three layers. The outer layer, the middle layer and the first layer. We're going to start with the first layer and I start that with a magic ring. I just wrap the tail around my index finger twice. Put the hook under the first strand and bring the second one through. I do the same, hook under that strand, bring it through. And that is your magic ring with a one chain. Taking it off my finger and I'm going to use this now to work my stitches into the first layer. The first one I have to do is a double crochet. So I go into the ring, pull the yarn through, yarn over the hook and pull through the two stitches and that is a double crochet. The next stitch is a treble. So I'm going to go around the hook, through the circle, hook the yarn through, yarn over the hook again, pull through two stitches, round the hook again and through two more. I'm going to do that twice, more that stitch, yarn over into the circle, engage the yarn and pull it through, yarn over the hook, through two, through two stitches. I'm now going to do the other side of the first petal by just doing a double crochet. That is your first petal made, I'm going to do that five more times, starting with the treble. That's number two done. Number three. Number four. Number five. And the last petal. The last petal we finish on number three of the three trebles and you'll see that your magic ring has enlarged somewhat. And what we're going to do is make that a little bit smaller by pulling this tail. As you can see there. And I'm now going to slip stitch to join the sixth petal to the first one just by going into the double crochet that we started with. And I'm just going to pull the tail a bit more. I'm going to cut my yarn and fasten off. Fasten off by just pulling the yarn around the hook and through the stitch. That is your first layer. Now for the second layer, we start with a slip knot. onto the hook. Don't make your stitch too tight. And we're going to do a six chain by hooking the yarn through the stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to turn this chain into a circle by inserting the hook into the first chain, hooking the yarn through, pulling it through the stitch, and then through the stitch that was already on the hook. We're now going to start the first round by doing a three chain and that is the equivalent to a one treble stitch. I'm now going to do an extra chain 
because that creates the space between the trebles. So I'm now going to start with my first treble with my yarn over my hook, into the circle, pull the yarn through, round my hook again, through two, and two again. And I want to create a space between the next treble stitch, so I'm going to do a chain. I have to do that ten more times. That's three, five, seven. Push your posts around when it feels like there's not enough room. I'm just going to count how many posts I've made. So including the chain, I need 12 altogether. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I need to join this to complete the circle by going into the third chain of that original stitch. So I'm going to Put my hook in there, pull the yarn through, and through the stitch on the hook. We're now going to make the third layer of the flower. The first round is done in exactly the same way as the second layer. So I've made that in advance, right to the point where we've joined it into a complete circle. The next stitch would be to slip stitch between the two posts. That puts us in the correct position to start the next round. I'm going to do a three chain, which acts as my treble stitch, and a two chain space. So that's five altogether. I'm then going to treble into the next space, and do two chain. I'm going to do this all the way around, so I'm left with 12 posts again. two chain and we're going to join that round again with the slip stitch into the third chain at the beginning. There we go. Now we're going to start our petals in very much the same right way as layer two but we're going to do eight trebles instead of six. So we start with our double crochet to anchor the first petal move over to the next space and do eight trebles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we've got eight. And we're going to anchor that into the next space with our double crochet stitch again. And we're going to repeat that again until we've got our six petals. the second petal complete. And number six complete. Here we just have to anchor it down again by slip stitching into the double crochet. And fasten off. And 
That is your third layer complete. All we have to do now is just layer them up. Three, two, one, and stitch them together. So once you've sewn all the three layers together, you have a complete flower, which you can add on your brooch pin, or you can actually sew it to your garment or your hat or your bag or wherever you're going to put it. You can embellish it with buttons and beads and change the colour scheme. To anything that you fancy really. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you again on Creating Craft. Thank you for joining me.